The overall goal of this methodology is to derive stable tetraploid strains from diploids of any genotype or karyotype in order to study the role or consequences of whole genome polyploidization in biological processes. This method can help study the role of whole genome polyploidization on gene dosage, biological scaling, extracellular signaling, genome instability, development of resistance to drugs, adaptation to stress, and mechanisms of speciation. The main advantage of this technique is that it's efficient, versatile, simple, as well as the only available technique in multicellular organisms to generate stable, fertile tetraploids from any diploid strain. I first had the idea of this method when I was analyzing the chromosome segregation phenotype of recate mutants in spermatocytes and oocytes. Recate mutants generate diploid sperm and oocytes, indicating that reducing the recate gene expression level could result in production of tetraploid progeny at fertilization. Demonstrating this procedure will be Catherine Rivera Gomez, a graduate student of my laboratory. To induce REC8 double-stranded RNA expression in Escherichia coli, prepare NGM agar plates with 1 millimolar IPTG and 100 micrograms per milliliter of ampicillin. Store these plates in the dark at 4 degrees Celsius for up to 4 weeks. Now prepare the bacteria carrying the appropriate REC8 clone. Streak them onto the plates containing the appropriate antibiotics and incubate the bacteria overnight at 37 degrees Celsius. The next day, inoculate single colonies from the plates. In